guys so as some of you might know that i have been taking a break from avani so during my break i have been i'm in a place called almati uh, really cool place amazing so today we are at uh, what is called the grand canyon of uh, almati it's called the sharin canyon mm, pretty awesome place that's where we are going uh, and yeah uh, once we get so it's a hike a little bit of a hike from here uh, once i get there probably i'll be able to record the hike again if there is a problem with the mic it's probably not me this time it's just very very windy out here uh, excited to be on the hike uh, more videos coming soon but this is like overall a beautiful landscape right here so we just climbed up down from there and that was a pretty long climb down and now we are going to the inside the canyon okay let me try to hold the mic with the camera properly again you know like as you all know that pretty retarded with technology here so oh uh, yeah i'm not the fittest person around so <laughs> this is gonna be a tough task but my friends want to do it so yeah why not? So, this, uh, so I'm having this trip with some of my school friends. Uh, it's pretty exciting. We're having this a uh, trip like this after five years. Uh, I would have generally just said, "Fuck this! I'm not going trekking or something." But uh, just my friends wanted to do it, so I thought, "Why not?" Uh, we started at eight in the morning, so I had to wake up at seven. Uh, of course, I'm not the earliest riser, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's a challenge too but it's been fun so far I, I just gotta mind my footings uh, it's pretty rough out here uh, all right so here we are oh wow there's someone climbing up at the drop <laughs> i don't think i could ever dare to do that shit uh, but dude uh yeah i think i'm uh, i'm getting a little less adventurous maybe i'd I think if I, it was like five or six years ago, I would have loved this place. I would have like tried to trek, like if you can see just around me, I would have just tried to trek down that uh, hilly path. But well, <laughs> it's not that. I have lost a lot of fitness ever since I stopped playing tennis. So <laughs> it's really a challenge. But uh, yeah, enjoying it so far, I think. I need to take more time off Ebony and do this shit more often. <sighs> yeah, Ebony has consumed so much of my life that I think uh, I'm missing out on these things. And now that I'm here, I really like feel like how much I'm missing out. Like whenever I'm on, on, on trips where I'm just not working, I realize how much I love life and how much of it I miss due to everything. <laughs> But uh, not to bitch about Avenue, I, I I love the game though. I mean, uh, and we have a super team, so it's really, really, very enjoyable. So yeah, now I think we're going inside the canyon. As you can probably hear it, I'm panting a little bit already. But yeah, and you know, like I said yes to the adventure, so I'll see this one through. Uh, and as you can see, it's a little hot out here now. <laughs> Our guide is already like uh, taken off his shirt. And here we go. So at the end of it, uh, so this should be like a two kilometer uh, hike. And of course I won't be recording for all of that. But uh, at the end of it, there should be uh, some uh, viewing spot, which has a uh, panoramic view of all the castles here so probably we'll just uh, join back at that time I really knew how to live stream I would have loved to live stream this and just post the video oh shit I can't live stream I don't have internet <laughs> but okay yeah but, I mean if, if I had internet and everything I would have loved to live stream this all right so we're almost there um, not the, not at the end of the hike, like uh, in 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 the canyons, as you can see. 
again uh, if any of you missed out uh, the place's name is Sharin Canyon uh, C-H-A-R-Y-N uh, they call it uh, I mean you can call it Sharin or Sharin I don't know uh, doesn't matter but yeah beautiful place uh, after this we're going to the Kolsai Lake uh, which is also like very pretty uh, it's a uh, this is like about four hours from Almaty, three, three, three and a half hours. Uh, yeah. And So we are almost at the end line here and yeah as you can hear my panting <laughs> a lot worse but yeah it was a fun trek about two and a half kilometers uh, a little rough road so you I have to watch my footing also uh, saw some people get like really really adventures and going on top of those mountains uh, I wish I could but I don't think I can uh, yeah, I don't think at this, uh, at the zenith of my physical fitness as I am now, I will be able to make that climb. But yeah, oh. um, so that wall is where we're going, and hopefully we can have some good views from there. So basically, this was all under the sea seabed of course uh, most of you know uh, so you can find some interesting stuff like dinosaur skins or snakes uh, inside these rocks sometimes uh, so we got a pretty adventurous place uh, <laughs> my guy just told me that the next place where we're going Kolsai we have to walk even more <laughs> don't fancy that uh, but yeah, we've been a good adventure so far. Uh, let's see. Hey guys. Uh, so we are almost at the end of the trek. Uh, been a pretty fun trek, two and a half kilometers, a little tiring. As you can see my uh, rough terrain, as you can see my panting has gone a little worse. Uh, the sun's out, as you can see, uh, UV of nine out of 10. So yeah, it's pretty hot. I think my vision is starting to blur a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah so uh, this was actually all under the seabed so occasionally you can see stuff like uh, dinosaur fossils or snakes uh, inside this uh, that wall right out there what you can see is at the end of our trek uh, which lasted for a good one and a half hours uh, I think some of, one of few of my friends wants to do that one, this road, this road here. Uh, I probably will not. I think I have had enough adventures for a day. <laughs> uh, the next place where we are going to is like uh, more beautiful. Uh, it's, it's a place called Kolsai Lakes, and it, it, <laughs> it's supposed to like you're supposed to walk even more there, uh, <laughs> which is going to be challenging. I've already walked like three kilometers. So yeah, let's see. Uh, at the end of our trail, uh, there's supposed to be a place where uh, there's a panoramic view of the seven castles here, uh, which I've talked about before. So waiting to get on the end of the trail. And after that, uh, have to climb up right there. Uh, there are steps, but you can imagine how many steps. It's a big, pretty steep climb. Uh, <laughs> then I get to the car and then rest for a bit and then walk and then do, do this again in cold high. But yeah, this has been fun. This trip has been fun. Uh, my life is generally all about work and Avenue, uh, mostly. So a uh, break with my uh, favorite school buddies has been fun. Uh, Alright guys, uh, let me get to the end of the panoramic view now. Sorry, <laughs> my English is all fuzzy now. <laughs> I think I'm having a near-death experience right about now. But yeah, I mean, uh, let me get to the end where there is a panoramic view and I'll resume there. Happy watching, guys. So we are at the final point 
of this hike and so i think what he said was seven mountains meeting and i heard it as seven cattle's meeting i'm not a morning person so, so yeah i i i <laughs> i can hear things in the morning uh, so yeah this is like absolutely a wow view uh, as you can see like there are seven different mountains you can see from here and there's a lake which we are going towards i don't think there's a lake actually I, I, that's, that's more like a falls <laughs> yeah there's more like a falls oh wow absolutely beautiful okay so this is the end of this road and then we move towards the next uh next destination which is cold high lake trek down again uh, I hate this part not because of the trek down it's because of the trek up <laughs> but yeah so that's the lake you can see between the mountains uh, looks like a, a crowded place <clears throat> I saw some uh, facilities for horse riding uh, which I'm really excited about uh, uh, I haven't ridden a horse for a long time so yeah really really excited about that oh wow look at those houses I wonder if there are hotels or people are just living there that would be a really cool, cool place to live uh, probably holiday homes uh, if you're living in a village a little bit far from here uh, about 20 kilometers uh, that's where we're coming from but if you just it's just a breathtaking view all around and uh, yeah it, uh, this one doesn't look that bad uh, this track down doesn't look that bad or oh, maybe when I get to the bottom there are some stairs it looks like which can be a little challenging I, I think I have done some yeah. uh, the last I checked I have done some 16,000 steps today that's up from my average of zero but not zero like maybe like 5,000 a day so, so pretty tired and uh, yeah and a packed today tomorrow also uh, and I plan to actually be online for BOG tomorrow uh, so let's see that bay that long, but it looks quite long and then we're going somewhere around there if you can see uh, there are boat rides apparently and yeah hopefully some horse rides after this oh that would be nice
yeah and that's pretty much the end of the day uh fantastic i actually did some horse riding guys uh wow. and, and and the terrain was like so rough i, I don't know the fucking horse just uh kept on i think it was like uh, some of the people on my on, on 428 probably paid the horse which kept trying to like bounce me off so yeah it was super fun uh all right that's it for the day video. Uh, okay. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh we're gonna We are going to go over water. Uh, yay! That was really really fun. That was really 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 fun. Alright guys. Bye.